Hi everyone and welcome to L&J Toys YouTube channel. Today we are going to be opening bags of Thomas and Friends capsule ply rail trains and rolling stock. Um, we just got this shipment in a couple days ago and we thought it would be really fun to open it with all of you. So we are L&J Toys. We sell Thomas and Friends trains online. You can find us on eBay and on Instagram. Please um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. This is a brand new channel and we're really excited about it. We're excited to to share um, these trains with you, but we definitely want to make sure that we are getting subscribers so we can continue to make videos. So with that, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to open two bags today, so I'll go ahead and get this first one open. And we'll just see what we have. So the first thing I see here is a... <clears throat> Jack and as we go through these I'll kind of make comments if I see anything just about like the quality or anything um, or if I just like something in particular this one looks pretty good um, sometimes these buckets or arms are broken but he looks like he is in good oh it's a little crooked there but <laughs> besides that he looks like he's in good shape put that over there the next thing I see is a metallic Sodor mail truck. Um, this one is so cute. These sell really quickly um, when we get them in. This one's I like the metallic capsule ply rails in general. Um, I think they're really they're really nice. So getting that mail car is cool. Also got a Caroline here. She look at her little face. I think she's really great too. She's pretty popular as well when we get her in. I'll go actually, and I'm gonna put the metallic over here just in case we get some more. We can kind of group them together. Got some uh, rolling stock of fish. Looks like some fish crates. This one's really wonderful. We've got reindeer Percy. He's got some little holly on him. This is a pull along. Um, you'll see a difference. We have um, wind ups, which obviously have the wind up mechanism, and then we've got the pull alongs that don't have anything. So he's really popular. I'm sorry that Christmas is over, but hopefully someone will see him and want him for next year got either like a cargo car or cattle car or something the doors slide back and forth on it here we've got Toby he is a wind up we'll have to see if he works but you can see um, he's sparkly you can see the little sparkles on him looks like he is missing his number seven stickers that happens sometimes when these trains come new they come in capsules with sticker sheets and um, sometimes the stickers don't get put on properly or they don't put on get put on at all. So looks like Toby at some point lost his stickers. But he runs nicely, so that's a plus for him. And it looks like we have a Diesel 10 mini train. So sometimes you think you're buying one thing and a couple other things get snuck in there. That's all right. Um, I like the mini trains. My kids have a bunch of them. They seem to be really popular. We've got Alfie too. I can't tell... Sometimes this arm is broken. I can't tell if this looks like it's kind of... He's really cute, though. All right, what else do we have? This is a good bag so far. I see a sparkly Henry tender, so we'll put that aside. Hopefully we have the Henry to go with it. Got another um, rolling stock. This looks like maybe it goes with the circus. I see a circus tent here, too, so maybe these go together. We opened up some... Um, on our last video, and I kind of assumed that they went together. Then we have Thomas as Harvey. He looks like he's in pretty good shape. Sometimes you'll see that that red hook is missing, um, but this guy, he looks like he's good. He's a pull-along. I like the Thomas as, you know, Thomas dressed up as some of the other characters. They have quite a good selection. Let's see, what else do we have? We've got a sparkly James. Again, he's a pull-along. Can't remember, have we seen? Oh yes, we saw Sparkly Toby. We'll go ahead and put them together. And then we also have a Sparkly Charlie. And this again is what I was talking about. You can see um, he doesn't have any stickers on him. So again, that just either they were never on or um, they fell off at some point, but that does happen sometimes. We always quality control. Here's another example of no stickers, this regular Sodar mail. Um, Sodor mail uh, van. We always quality control the trains and make sure if they do come in without stickers or they have broken parts, we typically sell those in lots by themselves and just indicate that there's an issue. Got another rolling stock. This is cute. 
well, it's, yeah, it's, this is a good mix. This bag is a good mix of engines. Here's Stepney. I love Stepney. He's probably one of my favorite capsule ply rails. Well, probably trains in general. I have a wooden one of him right now that I really like too, but, um, he usually goes pretty fast when we get him in. Go ahead and put him right there. Yes, this is definitely a good bag. Then it looks like we have um, Shooting Star Gordon. He looks like he's in really good shape, which is always good. Sometimes uh, the stickers on these are kind of kind of messed up. Let's see. Oh, good. He works, and I think I see his tender over here, so that's nice. Got a nice, nice match. Go ahead and put those together and put them up here. Ooh. This, I do not see bulgies very often, capsule ply rail bulgies. And these are really cool because I think this opens and then this pulls out. It's kind of hard to show. But basically, look, there's like a little produce in there. This, oh my gosh. Okay, this is my favorite that we've opened so far. I'm going to put that one over there. That's a good find. I've got Ferdinand's Tender. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the miscellaneous tender aisle um gordon regular gordon's tender put that over with the other ones hopefully we have a gordon we've got sir topham hat's blue car this i think goes oh yeah here it is so see these um they have the little grooves it just goes right there it's very cute got a spencer here this is a pull-along Spencer and not a wind-up. That's interesting. I don't see those very often. I usually feel like I see the wind-ups. I don't see his tender right now, but hopefully it's in another bag. We'll put that over there. Got a metallic Rosie. I like Rosie a lot. You can't see it very well in the video, but she does have um, two rosy cheeks. These stickers look like they're in pretty good shape, too. For some reason on the Rosies, sometimes the stickers rip right here. This one looks like it's in, like it's in good shape. This is amazing to me. This was from 2010, so it's 12 years old. And it, it looks like it's really great. So this happens sometimes, and it's usually on the narrow gauge engines for some reason that the smokestack or the funnel is missing. And so no stickers, funnel, that's too bad. Um, we'll put, put him over there. And then it looks like, yep, see, same thing, broken funnel. It is. It seems to be on the narrow gauge. That's neat, though. Let's see what your... Oh, it doesn't have the year sticker on there. All right, this is good. Who do we have here? We've got Hero and his Tender. I think I like Patchwork Hero better in general, but um, it's nice to see these together. Sometimes I've had an issue with Hero. I feel like of all the trains, I've had the biggest problem with Hero working. Oh, that one works fine. And he's gone. All right, what else do we have? Got another rolling stock. Put that over there. I love these little um, mini. Here's a little mini Mike with his tender. These are great. I love when I have all three of them. It looks like that we have Bert here too, so just need Rex. But um, hopefully he's in another bag. Those are pretty popular. Got little antlers. I don't know. If we have, I know we saw Reindeer Percy before. I don't know if we have another train to go with that, but we'll put those on the side. Here's another example of stickers not making it on. Um, I think this one is dynamite usually, I think. Um, but regardless, the stickers aren't on there. This is really cool. This, and I think this goes with some of the other, like these circus ones that we saw before. It's got festival on the side. Oh, and actually it looks like it's motorized. Ooh, that's very cool. I will have to open that up later and see if I can get the battery in there and, and get it to work. That's very, very cool. Those motorized, uh, there's a couple motorized like rolling stock troublesome traps, uh, trucks. Those are always in high demand when I find them. Got Merlin's tender, so we'll put that in the random tender pile. Got bee stung. Percy to pull along, or Percy, I'm sorry, James, um, pull along. We've got this um, treasure chest. Doesn't It doesn't have the crown in it, but I'm sure we have an extra crown. Ooh, I did not see this. We have the Santa, um, Agua, Thomas, 
very cool. These are very, very popular. The sticker detail is amazing on this too. It's got little stockings and holly. I'm trying to see what year. 2016. Okay. Well, that explains why it's in better shape. The light's still intact. Very cool. All right. Good. That was a good first. Oh, one more rolling stock. That was a good first bag. I'll go ahead and get the second one open. See if we can. I think the bulgy is my favorite so far. While I'm opening this, just a reminder to please subscribe to our channel and make sure you check us out on eBay and on Instagram as well. All right, so what do we have here? Oh, this is really neat. So here's um, Bee Stung Metallic, James. Sounds like it works okay. Good. That's awesome. Of course, then it's going to... No, it'll stop in a minute. We've got Annie and Clarabelle. Sometimes Annie and Clarabelle are missing the stickers. Either their face stickers or their name stickers, but those look like they're intact, so that's good. Put those over there. Next we have, oh yeah, so here's Charlie with the stickers. And remember before we pulled one out that didn't have the stickers on it, but you can see the difference. This quality, it's kind of like peeling and stuff, but again, you can see what it's supposed to look like with the stickers. Go ahead and put those together. This, I do not know why we're getting so many that don't have stickers, but no stickers, no sticker. It's too bad. He's usually pretty popular, um, but without the stickers, I'll kind of bundle him in with some of the others. It's a little royal. Let's see if we have any trains going with it. Some rolling stock. What else? Here's a Spencer tender. We had a, yes, we had Spencer before, so now we've got his tender, so that's great. Got an, oh my gosh, so many no stickers. Metallic Percy. Put him over. I think we had a metallic group going over there. Another metallic James, again, without the stickers. Something I'll mention is on the James, a lot of times the sticker quality by the scalloping isn't very good. This one looks like it's a little rough right there, but usually it's peeling on the top. So this one's in good shape. It's a shame that one doesn't have the stickers on it. Here's a Harvey. And now I showed you Thomas as Harvey before and I mentioned the um, hook. This one does not have the hook on it. So that is a common problem where the hook um, falls off of Harvey or gets broken off. Ooh, this is a good find, Molly. I hope I have her tender. I don't see it right off the bat, but um, again, usually in high demand when she comes in, and it's a great, it's a great little train. Two thousand eight, so fourteen years old. Very cool. Let's see if she works. Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> Next we have Fergus. He looks like he's in shape. Um, I always think something's missing because usually something has broken off Trevor and they kind of look similar with their wheels, but he looks like he's in good shape. Next, we've got, oh, this Royal Crest uh, James. That goes with that. It's perfect. Little pair over there. Got a couple. I'm just going to pull some of the rolling stock we have out and just kind of put it right there so we can keep moving along. Got some Tidmouth milk. Oh, these are fun. We've got a sparkly stegosaurus and a regular stegosaurus. I like those a lot. Put those guys right over there. Got a metallic Clarabelle. I don't think I've seen an Annie yet. Put that back there. Sparkly Butch. He looks like he's in good shape. Sometimes Butch, you gotta be careful. Like sometimes that little sticker is missing. Um, he looks like he's in good shape, though. Splatter. Hopefully I've got a Dodge to, you know, get those sold together. Another little rolling stock. Here we've got the Angry Diesel. It's Again, it's kind of hard to see, but his face is red. Like, he has red all over around his eyes and stuff. So these are usually pretty popular, too, when we get them in. People... People like that one. Ooh, here's a good one. Diesel 10. He's in great shape, too. Sometimes you're missing one of the buckets, but... <laughs> His face. Someone was asking me my favorite train the other day, and I said, I think it's the Bandai Tex um, Diesel 10. So the, the little capsule ply rail version's cute, too. Here's a Victor. Sparkly blue Sir Topham hat car. 
Let's see. Is this the... Nope. Oh, neat. Doors slide on that, too. I do. I think I like... Do I like the metallic ones the best? I think I might. Here's a metallic bill. See, again, yep, look, Peter Sam missing the, missing his funnel. I, I don't know if they, like, were easy to remove or, this doesn't look broken off. It looks like it fell, like it fell off. That's too bad. Got a Thomas. Thomas's lights sometimes will break off, so you do have to keep your eye out for that. Like, it looks like that one's missing a light. Put that over there. Let's see. We're almost to the end. Lady. I always get happy every time I see a lady. She's another one that sometimes, let's see if she works okay. Yeah. They're usually a little bit older. So she's from 2005. So I have found that sometimes there's an issue with these actually winding up and working, but it's still, it's still a great little capsule ply rail. Vinny. Oh, Vinny, you're broken. I like him though. He always reminds me football helmet. We've got a Bengals and Browns on upstairs right now. So, uh, perfect, perfect timing for Vinny to be looking like that. Got Henry. Ooh, look at his face. He does not look happy. I do believe I've got a couple Henry tenders. So that is perfect. Put those guys over here. Yep. So again, minor little detail, but the name sticker's missing right here. So the 2007, it does, it amazes me. This capsule ply roll range has been around for a long time, and so seeing the range of years is really cool. Look at these guys' face. I think, nope, it's different. <laughs> I like these guys. I think I like Troublesome Trucks a lot, too. Just the, in general, the faces. Who do we have here? Oh, Roller Coaster Percy. Again, missing stickers. That's too bad. I wonder, I think people get afraid to put them on. Um, and so then that's why we get them without the stickers. Let's look. No stickers. Maybe they just save them. They're like, one day I'm going to put them on. And then they never do. And then I end up with them. But I don't get the stickers. So every once in a while I get ones with stickers. Percy looks good. And he's got his light. Again, sometimes that gets broken off. All right, I think we only have a few more. We've got Thomas, like a clear, it's not sparkly, he's just clear. Um, he's a pull along. Got a couple Emily tenders. I opened up some bags yesterday and I had some Emily's, but her smokestack was broken, so I'll put those over there. Then I've just got some other, I've got Gordon and Henry, I've got a Spencer tender, a hero tender. Uh, this guy, so cute. Let's see if he winds up. Yep, sure does. Hopefully he doesn't fall off the tape. Yep, all right. And then last but not least, we have Esta. Awesome. So we got some really, really good trains in these two bags. I think I have to say that my favorite, of course, now, oh, they're all, they all look so amazing. Definitely bulgy. Definitely Diesel 10. I kind of like the Stegosaurus. I think I like the regular one better than the sparkly one. And then, think Santa Thomas is going to have to round up my list of favorites for these two bags. But thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Again, please subscribe to our channel and, um, we look forward to having you watch more um, from L&J Toys. Thank you. Bye.